Hello everyone, and <coughs> I welcome you all to another video of our uh, sort end series. And in this uh, video, we are going to learn about uh, insertion sort. So in the uh, previous couple of videos, we learnt about what is sorting, and uh, you know, in build sort of C++ ST library. We also talked about uh, bubble sort in our previous video. What is its time complexity and how to use it, right? We also talked about what is in place sorting. All right. So in this video, we are going to talk about insertion sort. Okay. So insertion sort is basically an in place sorting algorithm. Okay. This algorithm works in a similar way of sorting a deck of playing cards. Okay. The idea is to start iterating from the second element of array till last element. And for every element, we have to insert a data at its correct position in the subarray before it. So it might sound a little confusing, but we'll uh, look at with a example. So let's say the 12, 11, and then 13, uh, 5, and 6. What did I say? We will start it, uh, it from the first second element. So I would be here. Okay. Now what uh, we have to do here exactly is that for every element we have to insert it at its correct position in the subarray before it. So for 11 the subarray before it only 12. Right. And if we compare 11 and 12, 11 should be coming before 12. Right. So now new array would be 11, 12, 13, 5, and six. Okay. Now our i is here. All right. Now we can see that uh, for uh, thirteen, its previous array is eleven and twelve, and for them it is anti correct position. Okay. So we won't be changing anything, and our i would be here. Now for five, what we can see is that five should for its previous array, 5 should be at the first place. So 5, 11, 12, 13, and 6. Okay. Now our i is here. So if we look at the previous array, 6 should be uh, coming here and rest of the range should be shifted over here. Final would be 5, 6, 11, 12 and 13. And as soon as we did it for the last element, we get the R array sorted. That's what we need to find. Right. So it is a very simple algorithm, just the wording are a little bit complicated. Now we'll go to the coding part and see uh, if we can code it or not. So this is the bubble sort which we coded in the previous video. Let's uh, try to remove the one bubble sort. Okay. We have void insertion sort. We have an array intent. Okay, and uh, here we have an insertion sort. <coughs> Okay. We start it from here. Okay. So let's have few things. We have int i. We have j, and we have a key. You we'll see what the, what is the use of key? Here. Okay. So let's have for i is equal to 1, i less than n, i plus j. Uh, we will have a key which will be equal to array i. We have to place key at its current position. That should be before, uh, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, before, uh, like in the sub array before that. Okay. We we'll have G, uh, which will be equal to R minus 1 to indicate that 
sub array before T is 0 to J. Okay. We have one more thing that would be uh, while J is greater than or equal to 0 and an array of J is greater than or equal to V. To array j plus one is equal to array j, and we will do this, right? And in the end, we will simply uh, have array j plus one. I hope that makes sense. Uh, if it does not, we'll have one more thing. We can see. Let's move this part. Let's move this part. Okay. We we'll have i here. Okay. I is currently what? It is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes. So j would be here. j would be 3. Okay. Very good. Now what we'll have is we'll check array j and array i. Obviously, uh, array i is smaller than array j. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, no, move 13 towards here. Okay, so this is 13 now. <coughs> Just give me a minute. Yeah, okay, so this is 13 now. And we remove these things a little bit. Okay, now uh, we say that our key is this. We will put J here somewhere. We are going to check key and j. Obviously, key is uh, you know smaller than j, so we move it a bit forward as well. So it will would come here. Now here we would be having the j. Okay, we check. Uh, we'll see that j area of j is obviously greater than key, so we'll again move uh, it a bit forward. Okay, so we have an again and here. Now this would be our J. So we'll say that array of J is smaller than key. Does that make sense? Array of J is also smaller than key. So that means we come out of a loop and we'll have array J plus 1 which would be this element and we'll replace it by key. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Isn't right. Okay. Okay, by the way, this would be never. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's go here. We have our J plus one as key. We have this uh array and let's see if this gets what it amount. Oh yeah, you can see on your own that this thing has been, this array has been sorted. Now if I talk about the time complexity here, we can see that um, this, this is the work end and in this in this mixed loop we have this loop which moves you know uh, most and will be we go off and this would be we go off level right so obviously uh, time of density would be we go off and square right so I hope you understood what is insertion sort what is a bubble sort and I hope uh, you understood the code part as well and understood how the time complexity has been calculated. Right, so I guess that was it for this lecture and in the next lecture we'll be talking about, uh, talking about what is selection sort and you know, how to use, uh, how to implement it and what is this time complexity. So if you have any doubt regarding this video, you may ask it in the comment section and thank you for watching this and see you later.